Torzu. Truga is up to no good then. And that's putting it mildly. We've arrived at the monorail station. Oh, that's a wonderful sound. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's do a quick scout of the area here. PD8. Eland station. Might as well use it all. Grab these goodies. This locker was already open here. It's the same idea as the one in the previous area. Let's check our PDA before we hop on board here. Sam Harding. Uh, magnetic clock repairs. This is the audio log of engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monorail systems. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week will never happen again. The accident should never have happened in the first place. The internal sensors led the computers to believe that there was a vacuum inside the vehicle. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors in an attempt to equalize pressure with the outside. We're going over 15,000 lines of code today. I can see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. But somehow, the logs show the discrepancy is clear as day. Honestly, this looks to me like another case of a solid system Going to hell in a handbasket. I'm confident that the layers of protection I added to the code today will prevent any such occurrences from happening again. I'm off to meet engineer Jim Torben at the access doors to the Delta Complex platform to try and troubleshoot a faulty track sensor that's been causing the door to stick. So yeah, everywhere we go in this facility sounds like machinery has been going haywire, causing all sorts of accidents. I mean, we must be up to about a dozen by now, we've heard, over the months leading up to this event. Portable self-propelled rocket launcher uh, designed for demolition and debris removal. Oh really? Okay, fine. This model has been modified for use as a military weapon. Or well, modified, okay, all right, fine. Uh, we've got some emails here. Uh, quite a long one, but it looks like things. Sam, I completed the repairs on door A32 today. It should open more smoothly. On a separate note, did you see those artifacts that the science team recently shipped into the Delta Complex? I don't know what they were, but I certainly don't like them being transported outside of the cargo crates. It just creeps me out seeing them, knowing that they are working above some sort of alien ruins. Uh, that we are working above, sorry. Just the thought of what might be lurking in those caves gives me the shivers. I don't know, maybe I'm just overreacting. Uh, Harding, I need you to check the mounting brackets on the turret gun here in security. They seem to be rattling when the turret moves. Interesting. Well, this is going to be another accident here. Uh, Carl, I fixed the mounting brackets this morning. It was those damn mix-on bolts again. I really wish the UAC would find a better subcontractor. Uh, thank you for repairing that so quickly. Is this a tip? I need you to check the mounting brackets on the turret gun here in security. Maybe I can aim for that as a weak spot. Who knows? Did you hear that voice, though? Now leaving Environmental Reprocessing Center. Next stop, Black Mesa. Who are you? Oh, my what are good. You doing? I was waiting here on the train for my partner. He went to investigate what was going on. Yeah, he ain't coming. He never came back. No. Nope. And now, I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up at Site 2. I bet they're somehow connected with those... things... in the Delta Complex. The Delta Complex isn't safe. You're crazy if you're going there. That's where we're heading. Remember, safety first. Please do not exit the vehicle without wearing proper environmental protection. In the event of an emergency stop, Marset will be dispatched immediately for your safety. Have a nice day. Look, I don't think this train is safe now either. Entering site we don't two. know what's ahead. Site 2, this is one of the archaeological sites. I'm staying on the train until we Warning, get to Delta. Air lock malfunction. Then you're on your own. Please contact engineering to facilitate repairs. Thank you, and have a nice day. Right, we need to resolve this then. Oh, I have no weapons, there we go. 
Okay, he's locked himself in there. Well, you know what? That's probably the safest bet for you. That looks like where we're heading. Got some supplies here. I got a ton of ammo. I could have left him a gun. Just a pistol, at least. It's not like I use it. Oh, oh my god. This is the guy that we saw. Being transformed by Petruga. There's somebody else in here. One of those z second guys. Kill him too. Destroy all who oppose me. Damn it, taking so much damage here. Oh my god, where did you come from? Thinking, I'm glad I stayed in the train here. He must know if I die here, though. He's next. Hey, uh. Right, can we actually get out of this area? It's not going to be there by the time we return. Get some of these. Long range encounter here. Let's check our PDA. Nope. Oh god, there's another one. Just as well, we didn't check our PDA. Keep our ears open for a second. Nobody else is coming, I don't think. Right, that's what we need. Got it, Ross. What's he got to say? Original message. Airlock request. The Site 2 engineering team will be conducting a few tests on the J5 airlock system next week. We will need to manually override the ARSS for these tests and request that input code be updated to 826 to conduct these tests. 931 for Delta Labs, let's remember it. Uh, as you requested, the Junction 5 Site 2 airlock code has been updated to 826. This will allow you to manually override automated rail sensor systems, allowing you to open any of the track doors. Easy. Uh, this is a quick note to remind you that the new automated defense system at the Delta Labs entrance is fully operational. Please contact Delta Security with any questions. Okay, so we're going to run into some automated security arriving at Delta, I would wager. Uh, no audio logs on this guy's PDA. Does that mean he's not making any? Or he's deleting them? I don't know. Rocket launcher. Those tentacle guys, I think they're just called command. Where? What? It's got a buddy way in the distance as well. Yeah, I think you can crouch under them. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to pull that off. That's requiring a level of dexterity with my left hand that I don't think I got. <laughs> What's this? Some cells. You tell me we're maxed. Oh no, I've got to crouch. This is medikit anyway. 
Speaking of, we don't have a huge amount of ammo for either of those. We use most of that on the Mancubus. Let's use this for a little bit. I heard somebody else spawn there. You can see how that spawn there was time, uh, placed to coincide with where you might be taking cover from those imps. Thankfully I kind of pressed aggressively on. Yeah, see I was getting ready for a crouch there, but I, I don't know if it even works. Okay, we're here. What was that? Damn it, we've got company coming in from behind. Okay, we're here. We have a weapons locker. 826, 82. No, hang on. This was. Yeah, maybe this PDA has the code we need. Charles Hollis, EAP policy modification site 2. This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the Council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation program to Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project from Site 2, and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. End log recording. Okay, all right then. Um, I feel like I didn't take some of that in there. Uh, site 2 closure. Mr. Hollies, I would like to report that the main tunnel passage to Site 2 has been sealed. I will transfer the door codes to the archaeological division today. For all practical purposes, that dig site is now closed for good. Remaining activity. As you requested, I've placed all remaining ammunition uh, for the security team stations at Site 2 in storage cabinet 054, code 142. 142 86 931. Charles Hollies, we've received a few artifacts from Site 2 without proper uh, dis discovery and time date information on them. It's very difficult processing all these price, uh, pieces when we don't know where or when they were uncovered. Please check your records and send the requested information back to me for artifacts 34X91, uh, 21X23, and 86Y12. Uh, uh, sorry, 19. What's going on with my reading today? Uh, I've already forgotten. 146. Oh my goodness. Embarrassing. One, four, two. One, four, two. I've already forgotten the other one then, wasn't it? Eight, six, two. Grab these. A little bit of rockets. Station locked. What have I got here? You know, nothing. Side two airlock. Let's unlock it. Eight, two, six. Yep, there we go. Okay, I think we're done. Let's fight our way back with a weapon. Hmm, this one. There's something groaning there. Let me just clear. using pistol balls and worry something else was going to come at me. Full on armor shards here. I think we're good. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Did not end well for him. We're heading on. Now leaving site two. Next stop, Delta Complex. Okay, we're arriving at Delta. Oh, hello. Picking up speed here. Oh.
Engineering, please report to Delta Complex Access Rep. Track sensor failure detected. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, it's worse than that. It's okay, we managed to get our weapons out of there. Guess we're going up. <laughs> okay, staying on the ladder was the right decision. Come at me if you're coming. Oh, this is silly. Where does he go then? He's gonna come right into my face as soon as I go through this door, isn't he? Where even is the door? There it is. Ah, oh, God, what are you? There you go, that guy. He looked like something else there for a second. situation where we had plenty of surplus ammo to now one where we've got none apart from a ton of shotgun Delta Labs, I don't think we've quite made it there. These are gonna open on something. Ah, oh, yeah. Just crotch shot there. Yeah, okay, I should stop trying to do that crouch thing because it's just getting me into situations. some footsteps that weren't mine. PDA. Carl Cullen. Okay, here we go. Long message here. To all security personnel. Guys, I've encoded the shutdown sequence for the turret gun into my PDA. You can use it at the security terminal near the metal detectors if there are any problems with the gun. I'd rather have it offline than killing anyone. Thanks, I freaking hate loaded guns with automatic IFF. New automated turret defense systems. Mr. Cullum, please inform your team that the automated security gu uh, tur turret gun will be installed at the main entrance to Delta. This is due to increased sensitive nature of the experiments and the security problems we've recently had. Please ensure that your team members have correct security clearance and are in the IFF database. We don't want to repeat the problems we had when the guns were installed at Marine Command. Yeah, we saw one of these guns before. Okay, so I think we can shut them down without fighting our way through, at least some of them. Uh, extra medical supplies. Carl, as the medical supervisor in this section, I feel it's my obligation to be proactive in regards to safety, especially now that we have a turret gun in the heavy traffic area. As a precaution, I've installed medical supplies and storage cabinets adjacent to the security office. Both cabinet codes are 364. 364. 
four. One less than days in the year. I'll try and remember. I hope we never need them. Mountain brackets fixed. Carl, I fixed the mountain brackets this morning. It was one of the days I got. Read that one before. Mr. Cullen, we are going to be transporting a large specimen from Delta. Normally, we would not be using the monorail, but we need to get it to Phobos Lab, and this is our only option. Phobos Lab, one of the moons. Or maybe it's just a lab named after one of the moons. The specimen will be sedated. However, given both the importance and hazardous nature of it, we feel it is imprudent to have an enhanced security presence. You and your men should be prepared with full armor and plasma guns. However, lethal force should only be used as a last resort. Bringing this thing alive through the teleporter costs seven men their lives, and it would be a shame to waste that effort. Jesus Christ. Also, as you know, there are plenty of rumors about our specimens. I do not want this to get out of control. Information about this transport must be kept to only those that need to know what is in the container. Thank you for your cooperation in this. Matthew Gazer, what the hell were they doing? Uh, have they got any audio logs here? None. Did I miss some? No, okay, I don't think I did. Right. So, 364, we will try and remember. Delta Labs. Oh no. Destroy. Flames, I'm hearing. <laughs> Something big didn't come through this. I have a sixth sense here. I did a long walkway through double doors. It, it just felt like something big, like a pinky or a demon, was going to run at me. I haven't got a lot of ammo for that. Warning. Automated turrets online. I crouched, but I, I think it was pure fluke that it didn't hurt me there. Warning. Automated turret guns online. Warning. Automated turret guns online. Okay. I can shut them down from that security office. Um, the question is, is there glass or anything? Is there cover in that area? Warning. Automated turret guns online. I can use them to my advantage here. Yeah, work it did not work as I intended. Warning. Guns yeah, I know. Why aren't they firing? Stop firing at me and fire at the Warning. Automated turret guns on fire. Right. Scan it. Warning. Automated turret guns online. We must be right at the entrance to Delta. Attention. Automated turret guns offline. 364, I think it said for these. Excellent. Okay, what have we got? 364. Some goodies. Three, six, four. And more goodies. Anything in this room we missed? I think the gun there was like focused on like a corner of me it could sort of see so it wasn't firing at the imps because it killed one a couple of zombies by the looks of things. I could hear somebody else groan though so I wonder if there's somebody else. We're coming up on Delta guys. This is it. Something bad happened in that room. Good job. I think this is it. Delta Complex. Delta Lab Sector 1. Here we go. Emergency power only. All Delta operations suspended. 